Hello there! And welcome to Coding with Scratch Junior. My name is Sanyin. I am a teacher and a robotics engineer. And this is a different kind of course on Scratch and coding. A course that was created in a classroom environment after about four years of my own experimentation and teaching kids. Finding out how it is that they learn best, what they enjoy doing most, and what has resulted is quite different from the usual courses you see on Udemy and the internet. Those are very much outcome based. Um, students are shown a discrete set of steps which lead to a predefined result, which is usually fantastic. They build a lot of skills. But a question is, you know, are students confident to then go out and create their own games, their own application, and apply their own creativity? Well, in this particular course, I believe that is very much made possible. You see, the way it works is at the beginning, we learn the basics in a very systematic way with very short tutorials that students find quite easy. And once they're given a little bit of confidence, every tutorial becomes a catalyst. They're shown uh, certain concepts that make games work well they're shown what is possible and then challenged to make their own game and their own application. So in a classroom environment, every student would come up with a very different looking result. And that gives them a sense of ownership and a compulsion to go on further and do more. So without further ado, I'm just going to discuss the modules through an example of some student work and you'll get an idea what the course is about. So here's the example of some student adaptations of these tutorial from module one. This is where students learn the basic. They systematically use every type of block and they're given these very simple tasks to perform to master the basics. So the task in this tutorial was to draw a triangle and to draw a square. Now this student so all kinds of lines appearing on the screen. They thought it looked sort of cool graffiti effect like and he added a forever loop where the pen was changing colors. So put his name in the middle and had this artsy effect. And then he discovered that he could run the triangles and the squares all in at the same time, which was pretty cool. So let's go and have a look at an example from module 2 open-ended activities now in this game students learn how to get basic movement dynamics this sprite follows the mouse uh, the baddie follows our sprite and the sprite tries to run away and both our guy and the baddie can crash into this red stuff so I think this student made an adaptation where the more you speak, the faster you get. Run, 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 run. And the baddie crashes there. Run, run. And as you can see, we're faster. Now we crash. Um, let's go to the next example. Yeah, this is a game from the third module, Advanced Concepts, where students learned about cloning, messages, and recursion. So in here, um, there are these balls that crash around the screen. I think the green ones, if we look into the code, the green ones get faster with your score. So the green ones get more trouble as the time goes on. And they also clone themselves when they crash into the purple ones. So this is a type of game that can become impossible if you sort of hide in the corner. So your score goes up with time. But once these balls crash, they, they clone this third guy, which is running after us, and we lose. But if we're really aggressive in the beginning, yeah, and we try to shoot our way through, as you can see, each ball has life. And each time this arrow hits a ball, it loses one life. And they have a total of 50. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Run. 
We've got rid of one green ball, which is the main thing. They can no longer make babies as soon as this guy is gone. And these guys don't get faster. There you go. Fantastic. It has, as you can see, it has all the elements of an interesting game. It becomes more difficult as time goes on. There is a meaningful score and an element of mastery where students compete with one another. I actually had to practice for a couple of minutes to actually demonstrate this. True. Now, in the final module, we integrate everything we learned previously together into a more complex game. And here's a wonderful example of what that could look like. Oh my god, the sharks are so fast! Oh. This guy's tough! So there you have it. I really hope you'll join me in this course, and I look forward to your questions and your comments.